Hi everyone, today we're working on this brand new XSR700 and we're going to install something a little bit special with one of Calpi's bronze Cerakoted CP2 exhaust systems. The system also suits the MT-07, the R7 and the Tracer 700. We'll start with the removal of the stock system by loosening off these nuts that hold the headers to the engine block, as well as the O2 sensor here that joins up to the headers. Next there's two bolts that hold the muffler or the cat to the underside of the bike, one on each side. We'll loosen those off and just note that that's all that's holding the whole thing to the bike at the moment, so make sure to support it to avoid it dropping straight onto the floor. We want to make sure that our exhaust gaskets stay in their ports, and if you're having trouble keeping them there, you can use a little dab of grease just to hold them in place. With the stock system out of the way, we can go ahead and grab our new headers, Place them side by side. If we've got the left and the right the right way around, they should align nicely. And we'll grab our merge collector. This particular one has an extra cap installed, which you can see in the end there. If yours doesn't have that, don't panic. Just note that with our Cerakoted systems, uh, we do lose a little bit of clearance with that ceramic coating, so they are a tighter fit than our standard stainless systems. With those header pipes installed, we can go ahead and fit the springs to secure everything in place. And this is where a simple spring puller tool is going to be worth its weight in gold. You should be able to find one locally. Now that everything's assembled, we can go ahead and fit that up to the bike. We're slotting these headers into the exhaust ports and moving the flanges, or those little joining plates, up to the end, and getting the nuts on to secure them, just finger tight for now. At this point, the muffler comes out of its packaging and it's time to put it onto the bike. If you want to use the optional baffle, now is the time to slot that into the end of the muffler before we connect it up to this merge collector. Next we're going to fit this hanger bracket and line that up with the muffler. At this point we're not going to go over tightening anything, just going to keep things loosely secured while we get everything lined up. Coming back up to the headers, there are the four nuts that hold the flanges in place. We're going to slowly tighten those up, making sure that those headers are in fact seated in their exhaust ports correctly. We want to do this bit by bit so that we don't over tighten one side and pull things out of alignment. With the headers firmly secured, we can go ahead and remove that O2 sensor bung. And we want to pre-twist the O2 sensor wire in the opposite direction to where we're going to tighten it. That just minimizes any excess twist once it's all installed in place. And once we have that installed, we do want to just tidy up the wire there, getting it out of the way so that it's not flapping around in the breeze. We'll give that O2 sensor a final tighten up before adding a couple of springs to secure the muffler in place. Before we go ahead and give the muffler bracket the final tighten up, we'll check for alignment here, making sure we're not fouling against that rear brake pedal. Because the crush gaskets allow for some flexibility, we have about an inch left to right and up and down of potential positioning here, so once you're happy with where the muffler is sitting, we can go ahead and give those muffler bracket bolts a final tighten up. Lastly, we'll just double check that those header flange nuts are tight, and with that we're ready for startup. Here it is without the baffle. Yep. And this time with the baffle installed. As you can see, that's one of the more straightforward exhaust installs. We hope it's helpful for you when it comes time to fit up your Kelpie system. We'll see you in the next one.